It's the Viper 8K, 8,000 hertz polling rate. You really need that? Are you gonna notice a difference? Is it gonna be astronomically better than every other mouse you've used? Well, it's gonna depend on what you're using it for. What's up, guys? Thanks so much for stopping in. Be sure to subscribe and tap the bell so you guys know when I go live or post a new video. Be sure to check me out on Spotify. Joseph Corey just dropped a new single. Actually, two new singles, and one is coming up. So definitely check that out. Innuendo, Evo, Toto, Bizarro, Mosquito, No Nigo, Jack, Harlow, Combo, Gonzo, Salvo, Fuero, Nutso, Like a Fucking Soprano. And also check me out over on Facebook dot com forward slash real joseph cory for all the live game streams and all the socials tiktok instagram twitter at real joseph cory let's dive right into today's video it's the viper 8k 8000 hertz polling rate do you really need that are you going to notice a difference is it going to be astronomically better than every other mouse you've used well, it's going to depend on what you're using it for let's get right into it so today we're looking at the viper 8k from razer and you're probably asking yourself this question especially since you're looking at this specific mouse is it really gonna be a noticeable difference with a polling rate of 8,000 Hertz? Well, the answer is yes and no. It's gonna depend on what you're doing and it's gonna be hard to notice with the naked eye. And what I mean by that is it's really hard to tell the difference between two milliseconds and 10 milliseconds. We can't even do that. And between 1,000, 8,000 Hertz on the polling rate, we are looking at the difference between one millisecond and an eighth of a millisecond. We're never gonna be able to see the difference with our eyes. What I highly recommend you guys doing is considering what it is you need the mouse for. If you're gonna be playing esports or competitive gaming like Warzone, PUBG, Fortnite, Apex Legends, and, and games of that nature, and Valorant, CSGO, you're going to need the best of the best. With that being said, the difference in the game is gonna be somewhat minimal depending on the situation, but the mouse is going to update more frequently and it's going to track across the screen a little bit smoother with less input lag. And in competitive gaming, that could be the difference between one bullet, which is extremely fast and short, like a few milliseconds, but that could be the difference between life and death. And it's really gonna depend on what your needs are. If you're playing games like Destiny or Mortal Kombat, or Resident Evil and things of such nature, it is a waste of money to target only high polling rate mouse options. It's not really recommended. However, if you're strictly playing competitive gaming, it doesn't hurt to have it considering the price tag is very affordable at $49.99. You really can't get another mouse at better build quality. So what I would recommend is if you don't mind a wired mouse or you preferred wired mice, this is what I would recommend just purely for the fact that its build quality is good. It's very light and it's backed by Razer whom have great warranties and they're very helpful. And as a bonus, it's 8,000 Hertz polling rate. Now looking at it, like I just explained it, that would definitely make it a great choice. It's worth it even without the 8,000 Hertz, but because it has that, it's definitely a mouse that I recommend. And I've seen much better shots and accuracy while I'm playing Valorant and Fortnite, as well as Warzone. Those are the games I play the most, and there definitely is a difference while using this mouse. And the big things I notice is that the cursor or the arrow on the Windows screen when I'm browsing through Windows is just smoother and a little bit more accurate. Let's give you an example. You're playing Warzone at 8,000 Hertz with the mouse. Every little spot you move with that mouse is gonna instantly with almost zero input lag at all because it's an eighth of a millisecond you're not gonna have pretty much any issues whatsoever. The mouse is gonna be wherever you're putting it and wherever you're clicking instantly with zero input lag. We're almost at zero here, a quarter of one millisecond. But in competitive gaming, every little bit counts. Most people won't notice a difference until they look at their performance in the game. And if you're a good enough player and you're playing competitively all the time, it's definitely for you. It's a very light mouse, very grippy, comfortable, and very smooth. And the PTFE skates on the bottom are very good. So let's go ahead and test the polling rate of this mouse with Razer software right now and get a closer look. So here is the Viper. 8k very similar almost identical to the viper ultimate wireless except on the bottom you can't mount it on the dock which does save weight this mouse is definitely lighter than the viper ultimate moving this mouse is noticeably easier than the viper ultimate i, I think this mouse is probably 
one of the best, if not the best mice I've ever used. You guys can see beside the Viper Ultimate, they're nearly identical except on the bottom. They do say on Razer's website that this mouse weighs 74 grams, I believe. Let's go ahead and see where that's at. 75 grams, so that's quite accurate there. Uh, let's go ahead and weigh in on the Viper 8K. They say this is 71, and we have 72. So let's go ahead and open up Razer's polling rate tester right here. We're going to open her up. Going to select the Razer Viper 8K, 8,000 hertz. Okay. We're going to go ahead and start the test. And you'll see that we're already at 5,000 hertz, 6,000, 7,000, and it usually sits in the 7,000 range. It very rarely goes above seven or 7,500. You have to be moving the mouse very far and quickly. As you can see, I got 78. If we pull up the Razer Viper V2 Pro, and this is without the hyper polling dongle, which is on the way. I'm gonna go ahead and start this test, and you will see that the Viper V2 Pro sits right at a thousand the whole time. Big difference between, so right there that shows you the Viper V2 Pro versus the Viper 8K. If the wheel on the Viper 8K is noticeably notchier and better with more input than the Viper Ultimate. However, not quite as good as the Viper V2 Pro. I know we're splitting hairs here, but at the end of the day, that's the reality is the Viper 8K, even though it's under $50, is still a better quality mouse than the Viper Ultimate. And the build quality feels just as good. Thanks so much, guys, for stopping in. Be sure to subscribe, tap the bell, and be sure to follow me over on Facebook at Real Joseph Corey for all the live streams. We'll catch you guys over there. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. All the socials, Real Joseph Corey. We'll catch you guys. Thanks so much for stopping in. Peace.